do you see it right now? Well, we're coming from a situation in, uh, in spring ball where we had five offensive linemen in practice on scholarship. And we were uh, greatly helped by the number of walk-ons that we had. The guys did a great job and able to get through spring ball. We now have added two tight ends in Tecklenburg and Malin, and now we've added five freshmen. So we, we've, we've uh, boosted our depth a little bit, and uh, some of these freshmen have come in and really done a good job. So I think we're headed in the right direction, but this is a, uh, this is a group under, un, under construction, and uh, we're still not sure what our first team is, what our second team is, what our third team is, that will be decided here quickly within the next week. How much of those freshmen, how much have they matured and progressed mm -hmm. over uh, over camp, and especially since spring? Unbelievably so. Uh, thank God we have them. Ryan Miller's done a tremendous job from South Lake Carroll, comes from a great program. But more than that, he has a tremendous football mentality and tremendously football intelligent. They've all done a good job. Xavier Newman, coming from DeSoto, done a really good job of getting in the mix. Uh, Jason Moore, Rob Solon, all those guys. Uh, Elias Anderson, I hate to say that because I know I'm missing one. Henry Kling. Henry Kling, South Lake Carroll, <laughs> yes, absolutely. So those guys have done a really good job and uh, we could not function without them right now. We're a work in progress, we're under construction like I-35, so we got a ways to go yet. Uh, Ryan Miller, um, his uh, move to center, how's that going? It's going excellent. Uh, let me say this to y'all. If you think what we're asking Ryan Miller to do is easy, go out there and take a few snaps. He's got to make, he's got to make every freaking call, okay? He's got to make every call. He's got to block his man. He's got to tell the backs where to go. And this kid a couple of weeks ago was in a senior prom. So, I mean, this is like unreal what he's doing. Now, is it going to be good enough to win the Big 12? We're under construction. That's what I'm saying. We're under construction. He's heading in a good good place, but uh, we're, we got a long way to go to be where we want to be. Coach, you've done it for a while. How many freshmen have you ever had, true freshmen, have you ever had starting in the O-line? I told the offensive lineman a story. Uh, when I was at Syracuse, 1987, we had a kid come in early from uh, St. Joe's High School in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, named Turnell Sims. Uh, he came in early. In spring ball, he was fourth in the line. He's way back in the line. He's fourth team. Kept getting better, 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 better. All of a sudden, someone gets hurt. He's starting as a true freshman. We're at Syracuse. We win 11 games and go to the Sugar Bowl and tie Auburn. So that's my memory of starting a freshman. So let's hope it can come true here too. Coach, how close are you to having a starting five? Do you think? I, I don't know. I would say we're a week away from being close to it. We're a week away from being close to it. See, here's what I tell the guys all the time. You know what? We're going to have to put five out there. And you're going to go out there and someone's going to have to start. But you know what? More importantly, can you go in the game and help us win the game? whether you're sixth or seventh or eighth. The way I look at it, if you're in the two deep, you gotta go in the game and help us win. So. Coach said he had seven or eight, he felt like that y'all would be comfortable having in the game. And do you feel that way right now? What was the number again? Seven or eight. I think he was counting maybe Ish Wilson. Uh... I'm counting, I'm counting. I'm more comfortable with seven than I am with eight. We need eight, nine, and ten here pretty yeah, quick. Yeah. So uh, I'm more comfortable with seven than eight. Yeah. Coach Rule is the boss. If he's comfortable with eight, I'm comfortable with eight. <laughs> what do you want to see out of your line these next couple of weeks before that first uh, that first game against Liberty? What, what kind of things you need to fine tune? Are they tough? Do they care? And do they know what to do? That's what I'm looking for. Because ultimately, do they care? is the key. Are, are we going to be able to fight in the fourth quarter? We're down 21-7. We're going to be able to come back and win that game in the offensive line. So those are the things I'm looking for. Um, Tecklenburg, how's he been doing at left guard? Tecklenburg's, Tecklenburg's doing remarkable. Again, understand this. Tecklenburg's never been a center. 
So all that thing I said about Ryan Miller a little while ago applies to Tech. That guy's never snapped the ball in the game. What the heck? So we're asking him an awful lot, too. Is he playing left guard time, though, too? Yes. So he's switching? Yes, absolutely. Two. we got to find our best five. Hmm. we got to find our best five. Done. I don't care what position they are. If the second team left guard is better than the, than the first team right tackle, he goes to right tackle. It doesn't matter what position you play. It's who are our best five. How does this Ishwilson working in for you? Ishwilson's making progress. He's making progress. Do you have an update on signing Khalil O'Keefe? I don't know if I can. I have an update, but I don't know if I can talk about it, so I'm not going to talk about it. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Sorry. What's, your, what's been your impression? Coach talked about some of these freshmen that are having to step up coming from Texas high school football being a little bit more prepared. Is that something that you've seen from out of these young guys? I love Texas high school football. I love Texas high school coaches. But here's the one thing you have to understand about Texas high school football. You are not going to get those kids much better. In New Jersey, okay, where I've recruited, you get a kid that has, he, their coach is a fireman. They got no coaches in the building. Their coach comes in at three o'clock. They got no winter program, they got no facility, okay? Those guys go from here to here eventually. So there's a little bit of both there. Sometimes these kids are so well prepared, you ain't gonna get them much better. Uh, Mo Porter, uh, Coach Rule has really talked highly of him. Has he been a leader out there? Uh, Mo's bought in totally to our staff. And I'll say this about Mo, here's what I judge, a leader by. Can you be tough on your friends? It's easy to be a senior and be a bully with freshmen. That's easy. Are you tough on your friends? And I think Mo is, so he's made a lot of progress. Take a couple more. Coach, what about just the development of the whole offense as a whole? I mean, they're being asked to do maybe some different stuff than they were before. How do you, how do you see the development of the offense? I think sometimes we look really, really good. And I think sometimes uh, we're not ready for prime time. So I think we got to get it. We got to get it better quick. But I think there's flashes of brilliance, flashes of brilliance. Coach, and uh, I think we got to just be more consistent. I think we're heading in a good direction, though. Uh, Coach, uh, tight ends have a new role in this offense. How's the, how are the tight ends meshing with the O line? Well, uh, I think we're heading in a good direction. You know, understand this, we took two of their best players and put them in the old line now. Malin and Tech, Tech was phenomenal as a tight end, as a blocker and just knew what to do all the time. So my point is, you have taken two good players out of there. So they've got some catching up to do. So hopefully uh, we're moving along. All right, thanks coach. Thank you.